What do you want? Lovely room. Brian, in room 424, just waking up, ready to start the day's work. 15 minutes. Right then, good night, play off. What's your age, John? Hello. Hey. John, 425, woken up, getting ready to go to work. Yeah, I don't know, it's something like something like that. That's all I can remember. Okay, from that. Here we have the plaguey John. Joey Buckland. John! What? Um, I don't know. Some lady took them to get them cleaned. <laughs> In one minute, right? It'll be pure white. A little trick of the trade, man, because like when you've had like four hours of sleep, you need this. As we walk through the corridor of creation, we see lands divide. Nation against nation, like comets they collide. Come on. They do something like that. Here we go. Here we go. There is no. Alright, don't even get the job. Can't do it. Have a good night last night, Sam. Yeah? Let's go about and find Motherfucking Okay, which is the meaning that motherfucking power has to Love, that you give it? Love is the most powerful thing on earth. Love? Love is very powerful and it's usually looked on as soft, like a flower, but it's actually very powerful. The hardest thing that people So we thought we'd do a very hard track for it. It's easy to hurt people, but it's hard to do. Do you do anything yourself? Uh, like charity, benefits, or... Um, yeah. spend lots of money for charity. Really? We gave a thousand pound each to Help a London Child the other day. We went, we had to go to what? Help a London Child. It was, uh, it, a capital, it was a capital radio thing. Giving all that money, uh -huh. And we had to go, we had to collect a award for the best band in Hackney. Help a London Pack. <laughs> <laughs> Mate. You just go over the camera for five minutes. <laughs> My name's Dave Willis. I'm a photographer for Popcorn in the UK. Here we go. Oh, killer. Terry? <laughs> so you control. What control? <laughs> okay, Terry and John, I need to sort of... Essentially, we've been uh, following them around pretty much the same thing that you guys have been doing, moving with the band. I mean, yesterday we were doing the, um, the radio show, we were doing the TV show, and we're very much interested in what it's like to do a promo tour in Europe. It's summer, and it's... These 17 um, are one of the better ones because they know that they have to do this in order to get the press and promotion. They're never very keen about having their picture taken. So, I mean, it could be any number of one things. I mean, with Brian, it's quite often he's having trouble with his hair. I wasn't even looking then, mate. It's the one Most pop bands, to be honest with you, are pretty good at doing it because they know that they have to uh, play the game, so to speak. It's uh, normally Los Angeles rock bands that are the real difficult people to do. We need a poster shot, which we're going to have to do from what we're about to do upstairs in the garden. We're also giving them um, enough shots to supply a double page spread.
take that staying in the floor below, so... Um, They didn't even finish it. In her, in her bag and that. Right. Is there anything really exciting in any? Broke the weights, lining ball. Well, that is the song, the song, the song. That's what I covered on the tour, right? Shy, if I ever fall in love. What a tune that is. Right? The record signings is like giving the fans a chance to come and see. Uh, and they've got like album covers and posters and that. Little bits and bobs signed. So they can take it home. <laughs> or whatever they want to do with it. And at least you feel like you've done something for them, you know what I mean? It's nice for us as well, because we get to see the fans. We done one when we launched our first album. Our record signing was in Wolverhampton, Cavern Records. Five hours. I wanted to change my name at the end of it, man. But it's a good thing, you know, record signings. Like, 
coming out of real estate like two outfits because we're sponsored by them on tour and this is why we're here just have a little look around and see what we can get three bits you know what I mean three bits it's like a Chanel material yeah Shop is closed because there is the E17, the pop music rock star. And so yes, I like 17. Take that. <laughs> That's perfect for you. Okay, yep. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, but you're not taking that now. Are you? Look, hold in. Look at this. Are they great signatures or what? As always is with the 17, a little bit of madness, uh, uh, hysteria. The radio station was panicked because um, we were late. Today it was panicked because of the mega store. Well, you saw all of them, it was about 500 kids, and most of them didn't have the chance to see the band, and uh, it's one of those things really, really, you know? <laughs> You guys are playing football, ready to go back to the airport, and uh, it's done, it's been done, it's been great. So now you've seen all the madness and all the lunacy that is E17, how wild it was, and well for now, by limo, by camera, see you guys soon.